Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Those of you that watch my channel on a regular basis probably think I'm a safety freak and my family was, and that's not the case. I'm going to tell you three things today that you need to watch out for that can get you in real trouble from a safety standpoint and a liability standpoint real quickly, especially if you're new to tractors. First off, today I want to tell a story. You probably think I grew up in a family that drilled safety into my brain from an early age, and it was kind of the opposite. And my family doesn't even know this about me, but when I was a little kid, I was riding on a tractor and trailer. My dad, my dad had a utility tractor, about 50 horsepower, and we had a flatbed trailer with no sides on it, with open wheels. And mom and I were riding on that. We were going out into the pasture. We had cattle and we were coming back in. And I was probably two years old, maybe a little older, not that darn old. Mom got off the trailer to go open the gate so dad could drive through. And as she was leaving, unbeknownst to her, I started to crawl off the side of the trailer right in front of the wheel. And I must have slipped and fell at the same time dad drove through the gate. And he ran over me right, right in the chest area. And I guess I squalled and they thought I, they'd killed me. And they brought me to the house. And back in those days, there was a doctor that did calls to your home and Dr. Brown came over, looked me over, said, no broken ribs. He's bunged up a little bit, got bruises. He'll be in pain for a few days, but he's okay. But I learned from a very early age, I better be concerned about safety because in a farm environment, the kids that weren't paying attention didn't always survive. And that's bad to say, but farming is dangerous. And so I was paying attention and I had to. And on along with that, a story I was, I was driving in a blizzard bad snowstorm a few years ago and of course you're, you got the radio on listening for road conditions and all the radio people are wanting to convince you that it's the worst snowstorm ever and i remember a lady coming on talking about road conditions are deteriorating remember and this is her quote stopping is a must yeah stopping is a must and it is on a tractor too i want to talk today about three things with tractors and braking it can really get you in trouble. Now, this was inspired by a letter today from Don, and Don said, uh, as a recent first-time tractor buyer, I'm still familiarizing myself with the equipment that we've bought. Anyway, I was wondering if you could comment on the usefulness, uh, practicality of the various clamp-on receiver hitches. I have seen them that clamp onto the bucket and some that would clamp onto the pallet forks. My intended use would be for moving various trailers around our property. I am interested in your evaluation of these items. Well, Don, uh, you scared me, man, at first. I, I have this vision in my mind of Don trying to pick up a, a 50, 500 pound uh, man toy car hauler trailer with a 25 horsepower tractor. And Don, to answer your question, I, I, I like having a three point uh, trailer mover and that's what I have when I have to move. We've got an old horse trailer here. I have to move it to mow around it. And I've got a frame that goes on the back of the tractor and, and you can move it around. But when, when, Don, when Don told me this, I'm like, I have this, I always think, what's the worst that could happen? And I picture Don with this massive 30 foot trailer and he, and he picks it up and the, and the tractor's got just enough weight to lift it up and he's on a hill. And when he gets the back end of the tractor up in the air, off he goes and it ends badly. Well, it turns out Don's got a, a decent sized tractor. It's a compact, it's got a cab and a backhoe, and he'd probably be fine with one of these clamp on deals that goes on your pallet forks or your bucket to move your trailers around. He's just moving them around to mow. Now he did say he's on pretty serious hills and that's where you get in trouble. Okay, let's talk about what happens. If, if you've got your front end loader out here and you've got a, a ball on it, let's say you've got a hole in the bucket with a ball in it, or you've got a clamp on device that lift up a trailer and you're not in four wheel drive or you're in a two wheel drive tractor and you've got a pretty serious amount of tongue weight and you're on a slope. Okay, here's what can happen. The braking in your tractors, small tractors is on the back. There were 197,000 tractors sold in the US last year under 40 horsepower. So, and a lot of the folks that bought them watch my channel, several of you do, and a lot of your first time on a tractor. So here's what can happen. The braking on a tractor, on these small tractors, is on the back wheels. And if you're not in four wheel drive, you pick something heavy like that up and all of a sudden the back wheels come off the ground just a little and you're gonna go wherever gravity takes you really fast and it's not gonna end well. 
So a couple of things. First off, don't, don't, don't get to the lift capacity of your tractor on the front end because you're, you're, you're making your braking less when you do that. Now, and number two, always be locked in four wheel drive if you're doing anything like that because the front wheels will do some braking. Uh, they'll, they'll try to stop you. But the first thing is don't, don't exceed the weight capacity of your tractor when you're trying to move your trailers around, especially if you're in hilly conditions because that's when you can really get in trouble. Keep it in four wheel drive. And I like this frame on the back of my tractor because the trailer weight is pushing down on the back wheels. And, and so my braking is, is stable there. And uh, if, if I'm picking up a really heavy trailer, I'd put some ballast, like some concrete blocks or something in the front bucket to keep the front end on the ground and be in four wheel drive. So that's the number one thing can get you in trouble, moving trailers around with the front end of the tractor and not having a big enough weight wise tractor to do it. A small tractor will pick up a lot of weight, but can it control it when it gets it off the ground? And that leads me to the next thing that happens, and 197,000 tractors sold, a lot of these new tractor owners this year. One of the things that everybody will be asking you to do when you've got a tractor, and this is great fun, I did a hundred of these when I was a kid, is have a hay ride. I've had hay rides, I've driven tractors at hay rides, and every year it seems like you hear somebody that got in bad trouble doing a hay ride. And usually it's one of three or four things that happen. Number one is, is you get a bunch of people on the back of a trailer and a little tractor in the front of the trailer and a little wet grass. And you've got a recipe for disaster. If you've got a big tractor, you're probably safe most of the time. And the big tractors with a cab on them will have lights everywhere. People can see you. But one problem is lighting. You can't see where the people are. If somebody's getting off the trailer and you move forward, you could run over them. Uh, number two problem is braking on wet grass. Even a big tractor can get in a little bit of trouble in wet grass because you just lose traction on all your wheels. It's like kind of like skating on ice. And the number three thing that can get you in trouble is, is having a, a trailer on the open road where uh, cars coming up can't see. Let's say you've got a, a tractor in the front and it's got tail lights on it and then you've got a trailer and a bunch of people on the back and, and they're kind of blocking the lights. You can have a car come up on you quickly and, and you can get in trouble. And I've seen it a bunch of times. If you live in the country, you see this. So if you're thinking about having a hay ride, make sure you've got a big enough tractor to pull the number of people because people weigh a lot. You get hay bales and a bunch of people on the back and you've got a lot of weight. Make sure you stay kind of on level ground so you're not out of control falling down a hill on wet grass and make sure you've got plenty of light so you can see where the people are and if there's other cars on the road, they can see you. The third thing, and this is kind of a bugaboo of mine, and somebody commented on my channel the other day and asked me, have you ever done a, a video about having riders on, on a tractor? And I've ridden on a tractor bunches of times. It's fun when you get a tractor. Oh, come on kids, let's go for a ride. And I've, I had a guy sent me a picture a while back and I know you're a viewer and I, I don't want to be critical, but two kids in the loader bucket all the way up and I hope you're not running them around the farm like that because stopping is a must can, can be the key thing if you're hauling people around on a tractor because there's really no good place to ride. If they're riding on the fenders and all of a sudden they go off and you're looking the other way, you'll be running over them before you even know it. If they're in the bucket and they happen to drop out, you may not even see that because you got the bucket in the way. So there are so many ways having riders on a tractor can get you in trouble and, and if you run over somebody and kill them, you're gonna live with that the rest of your life. And it happens a lot uh, in the area I'm in. Every year, it seems like there's somebody that's riding on a tractor and they fall off and, and get run over. And we don't want that. So, so three things to watch out for. Moving trailers around, hay rides, and riders. Don't, don't have riders on the tractor. Now, if you, if you wanna put them in the bucket and you, you're out in the grass and raise them up a little bit and let the kids play, but don't don't drive around the farm with them up there. You go off in a in a dip, and all of a sudden they're out of the bucket and you're over them before you know it. So I always I've done videos about all these topics before. I want to reiterate them probably every year or two just to let you know those three things can get you in trouble and and uh, stopping is a must. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can do that by clicking the mic face icon and checking the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for the tractor owner that helps support my channel. 
And here's another video you might want to watch. Thank you for watching.